Hey everyone, this is Susan. I just wanted to thank you all for watching my YouTube channel and this particular um, piece of art I really, really like. Um, I got the inspiration from a video made by an artist named Sarah Mack and kind of used her colors as the inspiration. They're not the exact same colors, but I tried to match a similar shade and, um, and also the style of uh, pour. And um, anyway, I had a lot of fun with it, but um, the reason I'm doing this little intro is because I realized that I actually chopped my head off in the first part where I was talking about the different paint colors. I meant to have my face in the video and it looks kind of odd because I'm kind of chopped off at the neck, but um, in any event, I hope you really enjoy this video and um, please subscribe if you, if you like it and I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Mother's Day today. Today's the day we're filming. Um, so, I um, wanted to show you the colors that I am using for this pour. Um, it's kind of a hodgepodge, but um, I got the colors, um, inspiration I should say, they're not the exact colors, from another artist, um, Sarah Mack, on one of her recent videos. And I think the name of the pour is called a sandwich pour. That's what I keep hearing, but I'm not really sure why it's called that. <laughs> so I need to research that a little. But um, the difference today is everything is mixed today with Floetrol. And I'll go through the colors and um, give you a little more information. But if you're not familiar with Floetrol, it's, um, it's a paint additive, but it doesn't really have any, it doesn't add any color to the paint. So. It looks kind of white coming out, but it's not, um, it doesn't add color. And um, you can buy this at like Lowe's, Home Depot, Amazon, it's a little more on Amazon. Um, and this big uh, gallon is around $15, I think, at Lowe's. So um, the main thing with Floetrol is you want to shake it really well. And then one of the things I hadn't been doing, but I went ahead and did this time is use a strainer when I use it. So I basically strain it into a big cup first, and then I pour it in with the paint as I, as I go. But anyway, um, so that's the pouring medium, is Floetrol. Okay, so first color is white, and it's just, uh, it's Artist Flow White, which is the Artist Loft brand that you get at Michaels. And this is mixed at about one part paint to two parts Floetrol, but I mixed up a lot of it because the, the inspiration piece that I'm trying to follow, she used an awful lot of white. So we're gonna hopefully have enough here. I might have to mix up more, hopefully not. Okay, now the colors start to get a little more complicated. The next color is a combination. Okay, it is mostly White Pearl, and this is Deco Art Dazzling Metallic. Um, and I got this online at Michael's, so it was delivered to my house. I think you can find some of these on Amazon. I've noticed that some of the brands like Deco Art, some of the colors are getting hard to come by. And when I went to their website, they had shut down production until the middle of May. So um, some colors may be harder to find. I'm not really sure. Um, if there's shortages or not, but um, I know I was trying to find a specific uh, matte finish paint to do some try some cloud pours, couldn't find it anywhere. <laughs> so um, anyway, so this is white pearl, and then I put in I have some a few heavy body Liquitex paints. So this is brilliant blue, and you can see it's kind of got I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of got like a pearly pearly blue. I was going for a little bit lighter blue, but um, I really like the way this came out, so I left it. Okay, so as I go through the colors, I'm going to move them. Okay, the next one is just 24 karat gold, and this is the uh, Deco Art Extreme Sheen, 24 karat gold. This is a real popular color. It looks great in almost every pore. 
Um, this one's mixed more like one to one because the deck, this uh, extreme sheen deco art is a little thinner. Um, in general, all of these came out pretty thick, but um, I tried to kind of follow what um, the artist. I watched her mixing video to see what she did, and it's, it's supposed to be kind of pretty similar to what she did. So, one to one, and it's got a whole bottle, and then I had a little bit left in one. I don't know. I'm going to hang these upside down so the next time I can get a little more out. But here. Okay. Next color. I don't have a lot of this one, but it's um, another extreme sheen, and it's called Peridot, and it's course deco art and all I had was the one bottle's worth and I didn't mix it with anything but it's kind of a it's kind of a pretty olivey olive green kind of um so kind of like that it's over here um okay the next one it's a mixture I had some small Liquitex basics and these are just small um, three quarter ounce tubes. This one was brilliant yellow green, and then I add a little extra yellow. And then I decided I want wanted more, so I grabbed some Amsterdam, and this one is yellowish green, so it, it should be, it's pretty much the same color, just a different brand. And again, it's about two parts Floetrol to one part paint, and these are still thick. I kept, I was actually adding a little more Floetrol after that, so probably a little more Floetrol than two to one. They're still really thick, but anyway, that's the color. Okay, next one, same thing. I had um, the Liquitex Basics. This is turquoise blue, and then I mixed it in with um, metallic cobalt blue from Artist Loft. And this is just the level one paint, just the basic paint. Um, and I think it's about 50-50 on the two, but this one's very came out with a very metallic color. And I've really enjoyed the um, this cobalt blue metallic. I really like this. And after I used it the first time, I went out and bought a whole bunch more tubes because <laughs> I really liked it. So, okay. okay, next is, this one is Prussian blue and it's from Amsterdam. And again, it's, it's pretty deep, very rich blue. Still pretty thick. There it goes. And then I did Payne's Gray, and here's the Payne's Gray. So this one is pretty close to black, but it almost has like undertones of like a navy blue. I don't, I don't know the best way to describe it, but I really like Payne's Gray. Um, and this one's Amsterdam. This tube's about empty, but I usually keep them till I can get the last little bit out. Also to remind me that I did have the color, and then if I can't find another tube of it, then I kind of know what to order. Okay, the last one is, needed a little bit of a lighter blue, so I went with light blue from Liquitex Basic, Liquitex Basics, and then I added in some Artist Loft light blue. So, just two brands of light blue. Still pretty thick, but again, it's about two to one, maybe a little extra of the flow trial. Okay, I'm gonna go get everything else ready and pick out a canvas and uh, organize a little bit and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, this, I got out this really big canvas because that's gonna get really um, brave, I guess. I bought this, this is like one of the very first canvases I ever bought, bought when I started doing this last November and Never opened it. It's an 18 by 24. And it's a level one canvas, so it's not like the top of the line one, but it's a little nicer than the multi-pack ones, I think. But anyway, now that I'm looking at it, I just think it's a little too big for me right now. So I'm gonna grab one that's just a little smaller. I'm gonna put this one back. And then wrap it. This is from one of the multi-packs. little more manageable in size. And then I also, I was a little concerned that I might need more white for that bigger one. 
and I didn't want to have to mix up anymore. So I will give this one a try. Let me make sure the canvas is in the, in the shot here. Okay. I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna use this cup. I have these these are some old plastic cups that um They've been out in my garage forever, so I've been just kind of using them for pouring and then washing them. But they're clear enough that you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. So, let's see. What are we going to do here? I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna start with the white. And the thing with this one is the white layers are really thick compared to the other layers. with some white. Okay. Now, the one that I washed, she used a square canvas. She actually poured this direction down the canvas and kind of at a diagonal. But I decided, since this is my first attempt at this kind of style, that I would go ahead and just do a normal top to bottom. And I'm going to move all my colors over here just because I'm afraid I'm gonna knock one off the side of the table here and my piano's over there and that could be a real mess. Doesn't mean I won't spill them over here, but at least if I do, hopefully it won't be quite as bad. Okay. And check the frame. I'm going to slide this over. Now, what I think was she had, she had the top raised up slightly. So let me do that. put these little cups under the under here okay I'm really nervous about this one <laughs> see what happens here um, okay
There's that bright green. That's pretty cool. Okay. So colors. I'm a little nervous because <laughs> I tend to overdo these. Let's see. I'm just gonna go gently back and forth. Slightly that way. Just keep in mind, I didn't use any silicone in this, but the paints are also a lot thicker than I usually use. Just the mix is a little thicker, I should say. Because usually when I add Floetrol, I also add some water, but these don't have any water in them. I guess I could see why it's called a sandwich pour because each row is just a little bit different and it's so it's kind of like layers in a sandwich maybe maybe that's why really wish I could keep the layers horizontal. So that was the hard part. Watch it. I'm gonna ruin it. Let's see. First, I'm gonna try to get this corner to. Actually, both corners need help.
just blown away with how cool this is, but I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose it. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove these cups. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's getting slippery. Okay, and I forgot to put my apron on. Reuse. I'm gonna add some white down here. Making this move. Okay. Come on, paint, move. Move and don't mess up. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I feel like I need to just mix up a tiny bit of I'm gonna mix up just a little bit of a few of the colors to see if I can get something going down at the bottom there. Let's see. I'm gonna drill like this. down there but Lower the edge, lower the edge. Ah, still got some spots here.
is. We are so close. Come on. I'm overdoing it. Okay, back. And I think I might be done. Maybe torch it one more time. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna torch it. Just slightly just because it looks like it's been stretched that way so I want to kind of get it back so it doesn't quite look as directional okay Ooh, really like it okay oh my gosh wow. okay I'm gonna do another one of these check it out isn't this cool Okay, this is a sandwich pour. This is really cool. Anyway, um, I'm going to make another one. So I'll go ahead and do a second one and we'll, we'll see if that one works. Okay, bye.